check out this unique project with a bunch of U-shaped soffit bulkheads. Would you believe that they were installed with Armstrong drywall grid? The upper flat drywall was framed as a drywall grid sub-ceiling with HD8906 main runners and 3-foot XL7936 cross tees. Now the sub-ceiling served as a platform for mounting 4-foot on center U's made out of HD8906 main runners and DW90 clips. After preforming your U's, simply raise up and attach to your sub-ceiling on 24-inch or even 48-inch centers. Your U soffit spacing depends on their size and other factors like loading and seismic. Make sure to consult with your regional Armstrong installation specialist before installation. We can even provide a complete set of shop drawings for your project. Think of your time, material, and labor savings when you have eliminated all vertical steel framing to structure as in this installation. Let's also build some free-hanging U-shaped bulkhead soffits without any attachment to a sub-ceiling as we showed you before. Before cutting and bending the main runners, let's scribe the face of the main to ensure a clean bend once we cut the web of the main runner. Here we are cutting a 90 degree V-shaped wedge out of the vertical web of the main runner where we want to bend it. Just wrap your cut main around a known factory 90 degree edge and reinforce the bend with Armstrong's DW90 clips. Since you're not installing bent soffit sections with studs and track every 16 inches, using bent drywall grid mains every 4 feet is a breeze. Now, we are simply installing the U-shaped bulkheads 4 foot on center which definitely beats having to frame 16 inches on center with stud and track. As long as you keep adding additional 4 foot on center wires, the width of these bulkheads can be whatever you need it to be. Since the cross tees are typically what you screw your drywall to, install your tees laterally every 16 inches as shown here. Hey, this is starting to look like a soffit as everything now takes shape. Attaching sturdy cam 20 gauge or 20 EQ angle at the corners will span the four foot distance while providing a stable platform to screw your drywall to at the bends. Finally, tying your soffit into a wall or other soffit, then bracing as required will give your finished bulkhead the same stability you've come to expect from conventional stud framing. Here are some great examples of either bracing to structure or bracing back to the soffit itself. As you can see, the finished installation is now rock solid.